All right, so this is like literally my fourth take. So GG, what's up, guys? Destiny Two here, and I'm gonna be showing you how to get at least 25% more performance out of your Destiny or out of your uh, setup, your GPU, CPU, whatever. Let me just do this really quick. Okay, so I'm in the worst place in the entire game for frame rate drops. The lowest I've seen my frame, my game drop to is literally like 47 or 46. It's kind of ridiculous, granted that I, um, especially that I have a GTX 1080 Ti, but this game is open world, so a lot of it is CPU based. That's the thing about open world games, they're kind of like my worst enemy. Like, I've always had really strong graphics cards, just not really, just not good enough uh, CPUs, so. I'm going to just show you guys some settings you can alter without affecting the graphic for the fidelity of the game too much. So, yeah, let's see. I'm going to open settings. And you want to do what I do. So here at VSync, I have it at 60 FPS. You can have it off. I know a lot of people like to turn it off. Um, turning it off doesn't allow your graphics card to be really hindered by the because it's trying to catch up with the the screen. Excuse me, the screen refresh rate. However, mine fluctuates so much in this game that tearing occurs regardless. So I just lock it at 60. Field of view should be at 55. I have it at 80 because you know 1080 Ti. But um, if I really wanted more FPS, I should just default that at 55. Um, the game it comes the, it comes default at 55. But if you edit it out, if you edit it and put it higher, like I had it at 105, I was getting dips like 40, 45 FPS in more places than I was. Now I'm, it's just in like really huge areas with a lot of enemies and people being in, you know, stuff like that. Another really bad place to be in is the tower. Ugh, it's gross. But yeah, 80 field of view. Uh, just to give an example why you want it lower. So the more you see on screen, the more your CPU has to render things out. So if an explosion happens or there's more enemies on screen, it's going to try that much harder just to render things out and to just communicate with the GPU. Unfortunately for me, uh, I have an 83 uh, FX AMD 8370 with 8 cores overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz and that's still not good enough. Uh, I think my GTX 1080 Ti is literally just years ahead of this thing. I, I it really can't. Um, it's not working too well with it. Uh, most games I'm able to go over 100 FPS, but uh, Destiny 2 just fluctuates way too much. So that explains the 60 FPS and the field of view at 80. Next thing you want to edit out is screen space, ambient oculation. You want to put that on off. Uh, you could have it on HDAO, doesn't take too much of a performance, but at least don't put it on 3D. It's going to hinder your performance a lot, you know. So another thing too is shadow quality. I had that on low, I should put that back on low. Uh, put that on low, depth of field is high for me. It was highest, but uh, I'll leave that on high. The reason being is um, a lot of that is just CPU rendering maps and all that is just it's a lot of it is CPU and then it gets communicating back to the graphics card. Graphics card is pushing the power for it to be rendered out, but what the initial computing is done is from the CPU. And so that's you want to just focus mostly on things that require high CPU usage, like uh, the foliage detail distance. I have that on low. And for the shadow distances on medium for me, uh, I read somewhere that this doesn't affect too much. I had this on highest, so we'll see. Uh, but that's basically it. Render resolution should be at 100%. I have it 150 because GTI or GTX 1080 Ti. So yeah, as you can see here, I'm literally getting like, look at this. This area is horrible. Now I know the main solution is just to get a better CPU, and I'm working towards that. It's just, uh, just to do, like, an um, immediate fix, or immediate, uh, yeah, immediate fix to the problem. It's just to kind of just do those settings that I told you guys. It's an easy-peasy way of doing it. See here, I'm just getting, like, 40 FPS. It's, it's kind of ridiculous, but at least I'm not getting 30 and stuff like that. I mean, I got a PC for a reason. But, yeah, that's basically it. If this helped you out at all, let me know. Leave a like. I'm curious to see what you guys are running. How do you guys think of Destiny 2 on PC? Um, once I get my new processor, I'll definitely be running this game easy peasy, 200 FPS. Uh, I want to upgrade the processor before I actually get my new monitor. But yeah, uh, that's basically it. 
Let me know how this worked out for you guys. Bye.